Hey, hey you, yeah. I'm looking at you. Did you get your five stocks from Moo Moo yet? Well, if you didn't, use my link down below. Deposit at least $100, and you could get up to five stocks, each of which could be valued up to $3,500. bucks. Literally free money. Link down below. And now, let me put my glasses back on so I can see what I'm doing here, guys. And let's break down two stocks that are completely crashing. These stocks are in free fall. I want to break these down, talk about why I'm buying them, what my average cost is, and a little bit about why the stocks are falling. And we're going to break down some numbers as well. So if you all find value, hit the like button, drop me a comment, let me know your thoughts, and make sure to subscribe and let's get into it. So stock number one, which you guys can see here on the screen, and no, we're not going to drag this out 10 minutes before I tell you what stock number one is, right? Stock number one is PayPal, ticker symbol PYPL. You guys can clearly see this stock's been in free fall from $312 back in July. Now it just hit $102 this past day of trading. In other words, it is down 67 percent. So I want to break down a little bit about the con well, you guys know what PayPal is, but in terms of the numbers, we'll talk about some numbers, why the stock has been going down, and we'll break down a little bit about uh, of what I'm doing here. So first and foremost, I've been long PayPal probably for two years now. So I started buying before the pandemic, and this was when it was under $100 a share. So I think I remember I started buying at like 85 90 Something like that, 95, and then I and then I bought on the way up. I'm not gonna lie, I don't think I bought anything above 200, but I was buying on the way up. Maybe I did buy in the 220 range or something like that. Uh, I was buying on the way up, it hit 300, and now I'm riding it on the way back down. That's the thing, guys. With long-term investments, we're looking five years out, maybe even more. Sometimes you ride it up, you ride it down, but if you stay the course and you pick a good stock, which I believe PayPal is. It's going to end up hopefully running right back up past where it was the previous time. So, yeah, my average now is it's got to be around like 150, 140. And I actually just bought more recently at about 130. And now it's at 103. So, we got a little bit uh, to talk about. PayPal's market cap. And let me actually pop this up right now. PayPal's market cap as I'm making this video, is around $120 billion. And you guys can see that here. Let me show you. $120 billion. We have the P.E. ratio price to earnings, which is very important um, to look at to value a company, or at least one metric to look at uh, to value a company. It's right around 29. So it's not the lowest, but it's not astronomical like it used to be a couple of months ago. The P.E. ratio has come down a lot. And it's good that they even have a P.E. ratio. That means they're profitable, guys. And notice how both of these companies are going, or I mean, they are profitable. And you're going to notice their P.E.s have been going down. And I'm focusing on them heavily because they're profitable. And I think they're uh, coming, um, getting to a good, attractive spot. And again, the 29P, that's pretty good considering how much growth this company has. And their price to sales right now is about a 5.3. And if I pull up this tab right here, which is on CNBC, if we take a look quickly at their balance sheet before we cover why the stock is dumping, balance sheet right now, they have about... 52 million, or that's probably, that's got to be, uh, is that billion? Um, values in millions, yeah. They have about $52 billion in current assets, and their current liabilities are about $43 billion. So they have way more current assets than current liabilities. That's number one. That is great. And it looks like total, let's see, total assets over total liabilities. Both of these, we have assets more. Uh, than uh, liabilities, which is good. And they also have a pretty strong cash position. They have about $9.5 billion in cash and short-term investments and about $41 billion in net receivables. If we take a look at the income statement, look at their growth, guys. This is for 2018, 19, 20, and 21. They're growing pretty nicely. They did $15 billion in sales in 2018. They did $17.7 billion in 2019, $21 billion in 2020, $25 billion in 2021. So they're growing a good 15, 20, 25, 30%, depending on the year, maybe not 30%, but they're growing pretty nicely. And I think this is going to continue. And the reason why they're falling right now is 
they're expecting a bumpy 2022. And when I mean they're going to continue to grow, I mean I'm looking at this past 2022. Yes, they're still going to go uh, grow in 2022, not as much as expected, and I think they're going to grow for years to come, guys, or else I wouldn't be even considering this. And the reason why the stock is falling, number one, they lowered profit outlook, so they lowered their profit outlook for the current quarter, and they lowered forecasts for full year 2022 revenue growth to between 15 and 17 percent, and that was initially at 18 percent um, expected by the analysts. So their full year revenue growth is not not looking as good as it initially was, right, for this upcoming year. Well, I guess we're in 2022 now. And we have extremely high inflation. I mean, we have a lot of inflation, ongoing supply chain issues. And you guys realize, I'm sure a lot of you do, our dollar has not gone as far as it used to, especially this year with 7.5% inflation. So if there's more inflation, stimulus is coming, uh, cutting back a lot right now, right? It's, it's, it's less money in people's pockets. That's why PayPal is struggling, uh, struggling a little bit in the short term. And if we get into a recession, it might struggle a little bit more for the next year or two. That's just the reality of the matter. But again, this goes back to buying an asset now at an undervalued price, which I believe in 5, 10 years from now will be a lot better or, or a lot higher in price. And my return is going to be very nice. And they're also losing business at a faster pace right now which I don't think is going to be long-term, it's just for right now, from one of its biggest customers and former owner, eBay. You guys know about eBay, right? This is in process, um, PayPal and eBay, they're in process of moving to its own separate, or PayPal, to its own separate payments platform, or uh, eBay, rather. So, yeah, that's, that's, that's a problem in the short term. So I understand there's a lot of rockiness, in the short term here, but now that I've seen the stock come down 70%, I owned it before. I don't think anything crazy fundamentally has changed, to be honest. I think this is going to be fine long term. I just think it's bumpy. I'm buying more stock. That's just the bottom line. You know, my average right now, like I said, is right around $150, and I'm looking to buy more as it's it's about to go under 100 I'm essentially buying the same asset. Uh, I'm, I'm buying the stock where I initially bought it when I initially started buying it two years ago. It's crazy where I started buying it at 90 bucks. We're almost back to that point. So number one is PayPal stock. Number two is Facebook, which I used to own a couple years ago. I got out of it. Now it's getting back to a very attractive valuation and I've been buying in. The stock went down from 384 down to about 204. So in other words, it is down almost 50%. It's almost cut in half. And again, all you guys in my Patreon know you get all my buys and sells. I started buying this. I actually put a buy order in the day they reported earnings and the stock got destroyed. And mind you, it was a very small little nibble position to start out the position. And I've averaged down since. I believe I bought three different times. One at 248 one at 238 and one at 218. And I mentioned in my Patreon, I said, look, I'm going to be buying more between 200, 205, and 210. And that is where we are now. I haven't done it yet. I didn't pull the trigger on Friday, but at some point this upcoming week, I'm going to be buying more Facebook, especially guys, if it starts going under 200 a share. So let's break down some of these metrics for Facebook. And we've done this before, but I'll do it again for all you guys that might have missed that video where we did break down Facebook. So right now, the market cap, let me pull it up here on Yahoo, guys. The market cap on Facebook is about $560 million. And I got to get used to calling it Meta. It's Meta Platforms now, guys, not Facebook anymore. So keep that in mind. I keep messing it up, but keep that in mind for yourselves. We have Meta Platforms right now. Market cap, $560 billion. Like I said, PE ratio at 15. This is insane. Trailing 12 months P ratio is at a freaking 15, guys. When we have Pepsi and Coca-Cola and stocks like that that have no growth, they're trading at 25, 30, 40 Ps. It is just unbelievable. And P is not the only thing to look at when, when valuing a stock. There's a lot more. There's price to sales, price to book. You got to run a discounted cash flow. You got to look at the cash flow in general. There's a lot that goes into it. But just looking at the P metric on its own, 15. I mean, come on, guys. This company, yes, they're going through some crap right now. Same with PayPal. But a 15 P. This is pretty much pricing in no growth, barely any growth, which we all know 
it's not realistic. Meta is definitely going to have growth. So they have a P ratio 15, $13.77, trailing 12 months EPS. And their price of sales is pretty much the same as PayPal's. Ironically, it's about a 5.28 price of sales. And the reason why Facebook is getting destroyed right now is, number one, daily active users, they're starting to peak. I believe Q3 of 2021, they had the same number of daily active users as Q4 2021. So that's number one. And we expected that. I mean, we obviously knew Facebook wasn't going to grow daily active users till infinity and beyond. I mean, it's going to slow down at some point. So we're seeing that slow now. Growth is halting. And on top of that, we have the Apple privacy change, which is going to cost them. They even came out and said this about $10 billion in revenue in 2022. That's a lot of money, $10 billion. And I guess, I mean, in the grand scheme of things, it's a crap ton of money. But I guess to Facebook, which is why I don't think it's that crazy right now, it's not that much money. Okay, it's a lot of money, but it's not that much to Facebook. Look, Look at their total um, revenue, and actually, let me just pull this up on CNBC. Give me a second, guys. Their revenue is about $120 billion for uh, this past year. So $10 billion hit, yes, that sucks, but at the end of the day, they can make that back elsewhere and with their other growing business avenues, right? It, it could easily be made back, and uh, they, they're going to have to do something about it, obviously, but you know what I mean. So let's look at this income statement. You guys can see... Let me see if you actually can see it. Yep, you can see it. You can see they did $120 billion in 2021 in revenue, $85 billion in 2020. 2019, they did $70 billion, and then they did $55 billion in 2018. So you're telling me a company that grew from $55 billion in revenue just four years ago to they doubled it up pretty much and some to 2021. You're telling me this company has a 15 PE just because they had one bad quarter and there's some bad news in the very short term? This is just, it's just a buy for me, guys. It's flat out a buy. Um, it's very undervalued, in my opinion, and, and I'm willing to take the risk. You know, I'm not one of these guys that is all in on individual stocks. I have a lot of ETFs, which allow me to take more risks with individual stocks. And this is what I'm doing with Facebook, PayPal. And I own a lot of other individual stocks. The list goes on. But these two are the ones I'm most excited about right now. And they make a lot of money. I mean, look at the bottom line. Net income used to calculate basic earnings per share. They did about $40 billion in net income in 2021. That is insane. And their balance sheet is very good. Assets, look at this. Current assets, oh, wow, that's not good. 66666. Six, six, six. Um, straight up five sixes, guys. That that can't be good of luck for me. Maybe I should just sell out of Facebook at this point. But all jokes aside, they have a good amount in um uh, uh, current assets, and their current liabilities are about twenty one billion. Um, long term debt five hundred billion or five hundred million rather, and they have a lot more cash. Current assets. Let's see how much cash do they have. Forty eight billion in cash, and they only have. 21 billion in current liability. So they could easily pay that off tomorrow if they wanted to and have a lot more cash left over. So their balance sheet's strong. They're growing. I think they're undervalued. I'm buying Facebook, guys. And again, I started buying this recently at 248 after their earnings, bought more at 238, bought more at 218. And if it gets under 200, I will be buying even more. So that's it. PayPal, Facebook. What do you guys think about these stocks? Drop me a comment, hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe and join my Patreon if you want all my real time buys, sells, call outs, all that good stuff. So on Patreon, link down below. And don't forget to get your five stocks for Moomoo. Use my link, deposit at least $100, and you could get up to five stocks, each of which could be valued up to $3,500. Literally free money. Link down below. Get that. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.